Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we're going to be talking all about foundation shade matching, which is incredibly difficult at the moment because we're all used to being able to go into store, get colour matched from a member of staff, a professional, or at least get some swatches or free samples so that we can take them home, walk around with them on our face for a while and decide which one best matches our skin. We're now having to order foundations online. So if you're picking a brand new foundation, how do you decide which one is going to match your skin? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my tips and tricks. So hopefully you will become more successful at getting your correct color match while shopping for foundations online. Let's get straight into it. So before we do, if you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I'm a qualified esthetician and lover of anything, beauty, skincare, and makeup. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time. And I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I would really appreciate it if after this video you've liked what you've seen, you click that like button and also the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So my first tip, know your undertone. Undertone is actually more important than skin shade. So you really do need to get this right, otherwise your face can start to look a little bit gray when you have your makeup on. So know your undertone. Now I'm not gonna go into this in a lot of depth because I do have an in-depth video on how to find your undertone and I will link that up here for you so you can watch that a little bit later on. I'll also link it in the description box as well. But there are several undertones to the skin. The main four are warm, cool, neutral and olive. But there's also peach and there's a yellow one as well. Again, not going to go into it in too much depth. Make sure you watch that video if you don't know your undertone because it's really, really important when you're picking your shade online. Tip two is know your skin shade. This will either be fairest, fair, light, medium, tan, or deep. Now, unlike undertone, which will remain the same throughout your life, if you are a cool undertone, you will still be a cool undertone when you're in your 90s. It's highly unlikely that you'll spontaneously switch to being a warm undertone. Skin tone can change throughout life depending on sun exposure. So when you go on holiday, your skin becomes deeper than in the winter months when your skin may be slightly fairer. So my undertone is neutral, whereas my skin tone is fair to light depending on how much sun exposure I've had. At the moment my skin tone is in between fair and light which really doesn't help me very much when I'm choosing foundations but what I would do in that instance is I would pick the foundation that is suitable for fair skins and then I would bronze it up a little bit like I've done today. So we've now established undertone, we've also established skin tone so I now know that I need to be looking for a foundation with a neutral undertone that's suitable for anybody with a fair skin tone. Once I've decided which foundation I actually want to go for, my tip three is to visit their website. Visiting the brand's website is really, really important because there's often a lot of information in there and it doesn't often appear in the description of the product. You often have to hover over each individual shade and once you do that, it will tell you what the undertone is for that specific shade and what skin tone that specific shade will suit. Sometimes that information isn't in there, but often it is, you just need to look for it. Tip four, if the website doesn't have the information that you're looking for, ask Google. Google is just the, a wealth of knowledge and one kind person may have done the brand's job for them. So it's definitely a good idea to look for that information on Google. And what I do is I would put the name of the foundation that you're looking to buy and then put the word undertones next to it. And often it will bring up lots of photographs of all the swatches and the different undertones that are within that collection. It's not always the case, it's not always there, but it's definitely worthwhile looking because nine times out of 10, I've found the information that I've been looking for on Google. 
Tip five, find a YouTuber that is your foundation shade twin. If they wear the same foundation that you have in your collection and it's exactly the same shade, the chances are that they have the same undertone and the same skin tone as you. So again, chances are that any future foundations they buy, if they look beautiful on their skin, they'll also look beautiful on yours as well. Another good thing about finding YouTubers that are your shade twins, especially when you're watching their foundation reviews, is that they will be able to tell you if that foundation that they're testing oxidizes. So this will give you tips on whether to go for a shade up or a shade down in a range. If you still can't find the information that you're looking for and you have a little bit more patience than me because, I mean, if you're anything like me, I want to order it now, now, now. I don't wanna have to wait for any answers for anything. But if you do have a little bit more patience than me and you don't just want to guess, then I highly recommend contacting the brand of foundation that you want to buy's customer services. Customer services are fantastic. You may find that they have a color matching service, which can be invaluable. You may also find that the customer service team have the authority to send you out pre-sealed samples for you to try at home before you buy. So although you won't be able to go and get these in store, if you ask nicely, some customer service teams will send these out to you, which just eliminates the whole guessing process. If you've got the time and you have the patience, then this is an option for you. And the last tip, the website Foundation is absolutely fantastic and I will show you it on the screen now because what you need to do is you input your current foundation matches and the more the better. So if you have some absolutely spot on foundation matches already at home and you're wanting to find out your foundation shade in a different foundation, you input all your current shade matches and it will tell you what your shade match is in that specific new foundation that you're wanting to try. It's a great service. It's not always 100% accurate. It gets more accurate the more foundations that you can actually input into the system. But it's definitely a website that I would recommend if you can't find the information you're looking for elsewhere. So they are my seven tips to try and get your perfect shade match whilst buying online. It's really difficult, it's not foolproof. You may find that there are still hiccups along the way. I mean, if you watch my foundation reviews, you'll know that I don't always get this right, but if I followed my own tips and wasn't so impatient, I would get it right so much more often. I really would. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the notification bell before you leave. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.